International House was founded in 1924 as a residence and intercultural exchange center for graduate students from all over the world. When you enter this building, you will see that it is a house. It is a giant house with grand salons and convening spaces that encourage the residents to actually interact and exchange. The students here, obviously, many of them are pursuing their graduate studies. They're from all over the world. They're bright, they're intelligent, they're thoughtful, and they're tomorrow's leaders. I think the point of, of us being together is to, uh, is to invite a larger conversation. And um, through this holistic uh, joint venture of people coming in from different places around the world to sit at a table and ask very, very serious questions with the idea of coming to very, very serious conclusions. So as a leadership training organization, we get the best and the brightest. We get thought leaders on these issues to come in here to inform us. Our residents gain from that. And those thought leaders actually gain a new perspective, a millennial perspective, from our residents who come from 100 different countries around the world. The economy came back a long time ago. The economy returned to pre-crisis levels a long time ago. The jobs came back 65 months later. We began the day by talking about uh, the problem, this idea of a glass door, a door which separates the job seeker from the opportunities which used, there used to be pathways to actually get to. So this conference is something that iHouse felt compelled to do. Our residents who come from 100 different countries are facing this issue front and center. When they leave us, they're looking for jobs, and oftentimes their institutions can't provide them with the type of career advice that they need, and it's a brutal world out there in the job market. In searching for jobs, you can see through the door to employment, but you can't get in. Either you have to find innovative ways to open the door, or someone has to help unlock it. I think the conference uh, framed up some conversations that absolutely need to happen. Part of what we don't do is we don't put the right people in a room and talk very intently about how to solve things. You all came in with a, a very fresh perspective on this. The ability to sort of take an issue, begin to unpack it and convey it in ways that make sense. It's so great to see International House focused on a topic that is so important, not only in the United States, but really across the world, which is youth employment and really to kind of proactively bring together people from around the world to talk about not only what are the barriers and have a real conversation about what the challenges are, but also what are the opportunities. People are no longer competing for a job with the person down the street, but really across the world. And so how do you create global citizens in our young people so that way they can go um, anywhere in the world and be able to get a job and be able to be contributing uh, members of society? As the day went along, we heard from educators and from employers, uh, and then from innovators who were creating new solutions in these spaces. And it's a growing recognition in corporate America that not only do we have an obligation to jump in and do something, but that quite frankly, our future depends on us doing something. The compilation of both business, the nonprofit sector, the philanthropic sector, people from the educational sector with young people in the room is just fantastic. This conference is not only serving the residents in, in iHouse, but it opens up its participation and its value to the, the community. International House has been in this community in Morningside Heights for 90 years, and it's such an important part of the community. And so bringing the members of the community into the Generation Jobless Conference is really in line with iHouse's mission. International House opening up to the community is very important and being inclusive and inviting. I grew up in Harlem, and I just, I'm kind of surprised that I never even heard of it. One thing that's been uh, really exciting about today is getting to engage uh, with the International House community. Uh, uh, I'm actually uh, also a neighborhood resident. You know, I walk by, but I haven't had a chance to ever really come in and have a conversation with these incredible variety of people. I passionately believe that in every country and in every era, young people are society's most important agents of, of transformation. I have a particular spot in my heart for young people today who are trying to figure out how to make it. When we talk about the joblessness and we talk about all the things that we've been talking about at this conference, for me, that is 
where I want to focus my energy. I love the international purview, the international flavor, the number of people who are here from other parts of the world. International House is quite an experience. <laughs> it's 700 people and everyone has an opinion here that really we want to make sure you're engaging with and it's, it teaches you a lot about community. I think iHouse's greatest assets are its residents. This phenomenal groundswell of talent, of people from all over the world, people who will then go back to their home countries and presumably bring this extraordinary knowledge and experience that they've gained here. I love iHouse. <laughs> I'm very glad that I came to iHouse. Um, I feel like it's a great transitional point for me, having lived abroad and coming back to America, to kind of transition back into life as a student and life amongst um, other Americans and international folks. We always have to say, no matter how tough, high, the barriers are, there are going to be young people who can jump over the Empire State Building, who are going to be able to swim across the Atlantic Ocean. They're always the super strong who will always make it, no matter what the barriers are. Living at iHouse has been one of the best decisions of my life. The fact that International House has 700 community members from all over the world really allows you to have cross-cultural experiences on a daily basis. And this is so important for our personal and professional growth. It's a live, living, breathing, real classroom, but it's a different kind of classroom. So this conference is only the beginning. It is the kickoff to other events and programming that we plan to do here at the house throughout this academic year. My impression of the residents has been excellent. All intellectually curious and driven representatives of fascinating backgrounds and I'm actually remarkably optimistic about the future.